I'm Harris Thomas, and I am a James Bond lifestyler. My name is Dean Dunlevy, and I am a Bond lifestyler. My name is Charlie Ty, and I am a Bond lifestyler. My name is Joe Darlington, and I am a Bond lifestyler. I'm Mike Poplowski, and I am a Bond lifestyler. Uh, Bond lifestyle is many things. The Bond lifestyle is everything every man wants to be. The Bond lifestyle is something very special. It's it's something so unique, especially to bond that might not be uh, referenced in, in a lot of other materials, so that makes it very unique. The bond lifestyle is something all of us, in some way or another, are drawn toward, love to do and love to get into. It kind of makes us, gives us something to aspire to, you know? It, we see something and we say, you know what, that's for me. It's looking appropriately in the most inappropriate places. Um, possibly being the best dressed person in the room, no matter what the occasion is. Twenty-first birthday, dressing up to the full nines as James Bond, going into a casino, spending the night playing blackjack for hours, winning some cash. Oof. Again, that's a lot. Um, shaking hands with Daniel Craig for the first time was definitely a huge deal. Um, getting my first Tom Ford shirt was also great. Um, I think my probably, at this moment, probably my favorite Bond moment was standing in the Skyfall Valley in Scotland. That was probably my favorite. My best Bond experience. That's that's a really tough one to narrow down. Uh, just because, like we always say, it's it is an experience. It's a lifestyle. It's it's something that sort of influences every moment of your life. So I mean. Uh, I could say it was when I went to the Bahamas and went to the one and only Ocean Club or when I went to the London premiere of Spectre and, and met so many other Bond fans or when I when I first got my Omega watch and truly felt like Bond myself. There's so many to choose from. My best Bond experience probably, my most exciting Bond experience was probably the bungee jump off of the dam in Switzerland like uh, Bond does in Goldeneye. Uh, pretty spectacular. Um, my best Bond experience though would have to fall into the category of meeting people, meeting other Bond lifestylers and, and uh, getting to know them and my circle has gotten bigger and better because of it. I would have to say best Bond experience was going to the Spectre premiere in London, first time in London. And it was funny going through London and then seeing the movie afterwards and seeing I had walked all the places from the movie I had not seen yet. It's gonna be cliche, but obviously Daniel Craig. Why? Well, it's because we're wearing the same exact clothes. What can you say? Definitely Daniel Craig. I mean, I grew up with Pierce Brosnan, but I, along with so many others, was just connected with Craig. I mean, I mean, just his style is a lot more, I mean, still luxury, but it's a lot more casual and things you can wear every day. I would say I probably emulate Craig the most, Daniel Craig, uh, just because that's sort of who got me into this whole 
uh, next level of, of bond experience where you know we're, we're buying the clothes we're we're tying the ties like he does we're shaving with the Gillette razors we're uh, wearing the Omega watches we're, we're really emulating that that lifestyle and I think it's since it's current since he is the current bond it's such a, a nice reference to sort of tie into real life I think the bond I emulate more or identify with the most probably Daniel Craig because again Craig is such a you get more of that um, he's a thinking bond he's a he's a feeling bond um, my second choice might be George Lazenby and don't ask me why but I kind of feel like he's you, you know when you watch Lazenby and you sort of say um, you know for a guy who's trying to act like Bond he, he also can't seem to not smile like he seems like he's having a little too much fun just being Bond and, and I, I kind of I, I can identify with that it would have to be Sean Connery it was the first Bond for me, the first movies I saw. I must have been 10 years old, and I came back years later, and that is it for me, the epitome of the Bond lifestyle. For me, probably would be the Armani jacket and Casino Royale, the Miami sequences. Uh, I have thought about this before. Um, probably a screen used Skyfall suit. Yeah. My holy grail item. Uh, it used to be the Casino Royale Armani jacket. Uh, I finally did come across one of those on eBay and had to snag it. Uh, currently it might be uh, something that I, I don't think I might pick up for a while but uh, I absolutely love all the uh, the cars, the Aston Martins from, from the various James Bond movies. Wow, my holy grail item. Well, my day to days would definitely be Bond uh, wardrobe. Uh, things you see him wearing, you want to get either the same thing or at least as, as close as you can. Holy grails though, if I hit the lottery, we're all going to Palmyra. Let's just put it that way. We're going to buy it, we're going to fix it up, and we're going to have a, little, a couple of good weekends there. I would have to say, totally never be able to get to it will be an actual Aston Martin DB5 that I could drive every day. I would have to go with Pierce Brosnan only because I just think a few hours having a drink, having a martini with him would be absolutely not only great but just hysterical at the same time. Uh, I'd actually, if, if I could have a drink with one of the Bond actors, I'd love to uh, go back to, to Connery. I mean, that, that's a little more foreign to me since I'm one of the younger kids in, in this uh, realm of, of Bond fans. I grew up with Pierce Brosnan and uh, obviously love Daniel Craig, but I'd like to, to talk to, to Sean Connery just as the actor and see what he thinks of sort of what has been carried on from his legacy continuing through to the Bonds of today. I'm going to go with Connery. If I could have a drink with any of the Bonds, I would have a drink with Connery because I kind of want to get to know him a little bit and know what really makes him tick. You ready? I, I would have to go back to Sean Connery since he is so hard to see and he never gives interviews. It would be interesting to talk to him. He may punch me during it, but it might be worth it. Probably going into a Tom Ford store in a city that I won't name because I don't want to kill anybody, but uh, no James Bond merchandise and Spectre was just about to come out and you would think a Tom Ford store with the James Bond collection would have those items out to be sold. I think my worst... I've had a... First time I went to the Tom Ford store shop in uh, London, the um, the head clerk there was just kind of a, an asshole. He just kind of shook his head. Anything I, any time I brought up Bond, he's just like, whatever. And I, I, I still bought a shirt there, but it's not one I wear often, and I kind of have a sour experience after that. 
my worst bond experience. I don't know, that's, that's tough because even, even a bad bond experience is still a good bond experience. Probably uh, when Tom Ford took over supplying all the, crow, uh, all the clothes for Casino Royale or for Quantum of Solace might have been uh, the worst bond experience for me just because my, my wallet and my wife sort of hated me for a bit. But I, I think we've all recovered from that moment and are moving on. I think the only worst bond experiences I can even think of are the ones that I missed. If, if uh, you know, you, you regret the things you don't do, not the things you actually do. So the, 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 the times or the trips or the events that I was not able to get to and that, and I've had to watch from afar, those are tough. Um, that's funny because it's just a year ago, I went to a supposed James Bond Halloween party in New York and it was totally atrocious it was like bond party in name only hung for about an hour and left but it was did not fit anything it was like everything mixed into one party with a name bond on it i would enjoy probably billy reed just in that i've uh, gotten a chance to work with them and spend a few weeks with them and all that they're about and they really embrace us as fans and what they've done for this youtube channel in general has just been spectacular for all of us the brand i enjoy the most i think the brand i like the most is tom ford but the brand i probably enjoy the most is All Saints, a lesser known one from Skyfall. Because that's one that fits my casual style very well. I would say the Bond brand I enjoy the most would be probably, probably more recent, like Billy Reed and Peel. Some of these Bond brands who've really sort of uh, embraced us as fans and and have reached out to us for collaborations or for really, you know, take that extra step in showing their appreciation for the people who appreciate their, their clothing. Which Bond brand do I love the most? Well, I'm gonna leave out the alcohols for now and I'm not gonna touch that one. I think probably the Sunspells though. I think the Spun Sunspell shirt, the Sunspell t-shirt, I really like that one. That one I kinda always go back to. I, I don't think I could answer that. A Bond brand, I go more for the look. I may up, may up by the Tom Ford or the conduct cut suits, but I try to find the closest I can that are affordable, that have the same look. I would have to say, I think Zinnia would be a great Italian brand for James Bond to get to. It seems like it would fit. Gap, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. I mean, I really like that he wore Thomas Pink Inspector. I kind of hope he wears more of that in the future. Sort of going back to my worst Bond experience. Uh, I absolutely love Tom Ford. I would love to see Bond wearing some, still some nice clothing, but maybe a little more budget friendly. Uh, I, I really love uh, All Saint, and I know he's used one small undershirt from that company but uh, I absolutely love their clothing in in a lot of other movies and TV and I think it would be a nice feature to sort of bring back sort of a more casual relaxed biker style bond yeah I can't think of a particular brand I would ask for necessarily in fact I mean I, I guess I'm always looking to them for a brand instead of the other way around um, Probably a couple things I'd like to see him wear more of, and probably it would fall into the sort of the casual wear. I think some of the uh, some of the things Craig has been wearing recently is probably a little more over the top than than is my. I, I'd like to see him sort of back up a little bit and get back to sort of the uh, the, uh, the the casino slash quantum stuff. Uh, Charles Turwitt. <laughs> I would have to say the best part of living the Bond lifestyle would be A, collecting some of the cool props and clothing to be able to wear, but again, getting around to hang out and meet everybody and really you're forming friendships and you're bonding over James Bond, obviously, pun intended, but again, for me, being able to, to have some friends and that understand 
your nerdum, so it's pretty cool. Best part of living the Bond lifestyle is the, the people you meet, I mean, the people you interact with. The, the thing that sets Bond apart is there are so many generations spanning over 50 years now, and, uh, you know, so, so many different, even within the Bond experience, it's so broad of people who like the cars, people who like the watches, people who like the clothing, people who like the movies and the action and the guns. It's, it's so neat to, to sort of have even uh, you know people from different walks of life all coming together and sitting in a room and watching Thunderball, which I can't wait to get back to. <laughs> the best part about living the Bond lifestyle is easily the people. The people involved, people you meet, like-minded people, guys you can talk to, you can crack a joke and somebody actually gets it for a change. Definitely the people you meet. You always know what you're gonna put on and dress when you go out. There's no hemming and hawing and looking slovenly. There's never a question. Skyfall. Daniel Craig's best? Skyfall. Yes, Skyfall. I enjoyed it. The best part of the movie was when he pulls the DB5 out of the garage. Skyfall. Done. Skyfall. Done. Skyfall. Done. Oh, hey, you're still here. I didn't even know. Uh, you listen, while you're here, uh, if you want, I, I, so I would actually go to this button right here and click on it because then you actually subscribe to our vlogs. It's amazing. Um, you get to see all the upcoming stuff first. You get notifications. It screams at you while you're at work. It's absolutely amazing. Just click on this button, hit subscribe. Just move your cursor, move, 